Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's RTC TV4 broadcast, where the cast and Lady Comets are hosting the Rossville Lady Hornets. I'm Blair Zimmerman, and joining me once again on the other headset is my co-commentator, Pete Duvall. Pete, welcome. Welcome, Blair. Once again, another great night for Comet basketball. Absolutely. You know what the beautiful thing is about basketball season over football season? The weather's irrelevant. Uh, there's a lot of great about football, of course, but uh, I never have to worry about freezing to death here in the gym. Yeah, that's all. That's always a great thing. Uh -huh. So, uh, got our ladies taking the court here tonight. Uh, Pete, I did have an opportunity to check John Harrell's predictions here. Uh, they're predicting a 25-point spread in favor of the Lady Comets. So. I uh, had an opportunity to talk to Coach Douglas last night, and he's actually thinking that it may be a little bit more severe than that. We may end up with a running clock second half again, uh, much like last uh, Tuesday when the ladies hosted uh, the Peru Tigers. Yeah. I, this is a, a common second time getting predicted by John Harrell, first time with us on the air, and... Uh, Always appreciate his uh, predictions. Oh yeah, it, it's it's fantastic, and it's you know obviously it's a best effort thing. Uh, at this early in the season, there's still a lot of you know, well, what did last year look like? What have the last several meetups look like? Uh, Winnemac, for instance, uh, John Harrow had predicted as a four-point uh, Winnemac victory ahead of time, ended up being an eight-point casting victory. Uh, so you know, there's always some variables there, but. I can't imagine the stat crunching that goes into those predictions that are so often super accurate. So, anyway, the ladies are taking center court here. Uh, we have Madison Smith squaring off against Corin Geheb in the center ring. And there's a tip. Tip goes to the Comets. Got Bell Scales at the volleyball line coming near side to Abby Williamson. Up to the volleyball line, Brianna Yarber. Back in the hands of Yarber. Lady Comets taking some time trying to set up a play. Bell about lost control of that. She's far side, cross court skip pass. Ladies uh, taking some time looking for their play. And Bell opening it up here, drawing first blood with a three-pointer. Lady Comet putting on pressure early here. You know, you and I talked uh, off air that, um, that we could definitely see that pressure that the Comets used to their advantage last Tuesday being put on here. And uh, looks like that was a good prediction. Scales across the timeline. Near side to Williamson. Yarbrough at the volleyball line. Back to Williamson. Rossville not really breaking the zone much at all. Giving a lot of leeway up, up high on the court. Harness near side into the post to Smith. Back outside. Head fake there by Yarbrough. Scales go into the elbow, kick it back out to the key where Williamson's going to take a three in and out. And Rossville will get that rebound and then travel with it. Courtney Huffman took one extra <coughs> step there after she picked up her dribble. Kind of surprised that the uh, student section didn't already pick up with a you can't do that. Because uh, you're not allowed to do that. No, not at all. Unless the ref doesn't see it, then I guess anything goes. <laughs> hey, if the ref doesn't see it, it never happened. That's why the bottom of the dog pile out on the football field is so dangerous. Yeah. Ref can't see that. Williamson near side up to the volleyball line. New cross court to Scales. Smith on the baseline, cross court here to Yarber. Williamson near side. Over to Scales. Scales drive baseline, back out into a heavily contested post. 
Harness was trying to get control of that to go vertical. Couldn't quite put out of bounds by Rossville. You know, that was actually, it was a risky pass by Isabel Scales, but it was a really good pass because it went right to where she intended to and almost got the score there. And then uh, Maddie Smith there with the score. Again, solid three-quarter court pressure being put on by the Lady Comets. And how was that not a travel? Not sure. Number 10 there, Huffman, stuck at the elbow. She'll send it to number 22, Geheb. Geheb in towards the paint, kicks it back out to Bernhardt. And Bernhardt with a two-point attempt off the mark. Lady Comets with that rebound. And we're going to have a foul called here on number 22, Corinne Geheb. That'll be uh, her first, team first. Or no, that's her second. I can count. It happens sometimes. Numbers are hard, Pete. I know. Ball in to Bell Scales. Got Addison Zimpleman uh, giving Brianna Yarber a break. Up for three, it's off the mark. Rossville, far corner. Back up to Huffman at the top. She'll send it to Skiles. Skiles about loses control. Back to Huffman here on the near side. Huffman to Gorbit. Ball into the paint. Got a little wild. We're going to kick it back outside. Down to the baseline. And that's Avery Gorbit for two. First score of the game there with nearly half of the first quarter gone for the Lady Hornets. Kenzie Molenkoff coming in for the Comets. She'll give senior Maddie Smith a break. <coughs> Molenkoff from the paint, a little off the mark. And the Hornets will send it into the paint. Ball swatted away there on that shot attempt by Gorbett. Williamson, open three look, and gets it. Lady Comets now, six point advantage, just over half the first quarter gone. And we're gonna have a foul here called on Abby Williamson as she was trying to get involved with that pass. That'll be her first, team first. Lady Comets getting that interception on that pass there. Bell scales into the paint and up for two. Scales now owner of half of the Comets 10 points. Great ball movement there by the Lady Hornets. Shot attempt by Skiles is off the mark. Put back by Rodkey off the mark. And we'll have a foul called on Addison Zimpleman. Her first, team second. Yarber back in for the Comets. Williamson gets a break. Ball in near side for the Lady Hornets. Once again, we see the Lady Comets with a fast switching defense. Dommerman, very dominant on that blocking. Kicked up to Skiles, who puts it in for two. And we have the Lady Hornets calling a 30 second timeout. <coughs> so three minutes remaining here in the first quarter, just under. And Lady Comets with a six point advantage. <coughs> ah. 
Honestly, it's not been even the fact that the Lady Comets have had more attempts on basket uh, so much as they're just shooting with a better percentage so far in this game. Dommerman will send the ball into scales. Scales at the volleyball line. She'll send it near side here. Up to Dommerman at the top of the key. Near side to Zimpleman. Zimpleman to Yarbrough at the volleyball line. And Zimpleman for three from the near side. Off the mark. And we'll have a jump ball. Possession arrow gives it to the Lady Hornets. Get the ball across the timeline in the hands of Michelle Rodkey right now. Near side to Huffman. Huffman to Skiles, who drains it for three. And brings it to a three-point game. Potentially single possession game here, Pete. Two minutes left here in the first quarter. I believe that is technically a three-one possession game. Potentially. I mean, you got to sink a three to do it. Ooh, Dommerman's pass into the paint goes a little wild. Huffman in center circle. Sends it to Rodkey. Rodkey to Gorbit. Huffman. Skiles. Shot is off the mark. Long pass ahead to Yarber. She'll draw a foul on the shot. Go to the line for two. Foul's being called on number 24, Tori Skiles. That'll be her first, team third. Ah, first shot rattles in and out. Second shot off the front of the rim. Hornets with that rebound. Ball out to Huffman. She'll dribble into the paint. Bout gets her, gets her pocket pick. Skiles, she'll pass near side. And lose control of that there. Smith didn't wait around. Picks it up, gets down to her end of the court. Zimpleman for three, off the mark. And put back by Molenkoff is good. Again, three-quarter court pressure here by the Comets. Ball over the timeline. Shot by Bernhardt, off the mark. And then we'll have a foul. Foul is on Molenkoff. Be her first, team third. Nice attempt by the Lady Comets to get involved on that inbound. Couldn't quite gain control of it though. I was kind of, I was kind of surprised she threw that pass with two of the Comets sitting right where she threw that ball. Yeah, I'm not sure what the thought process was there, but this inbound successful. Shot by number 34, Michelle Rodkey is good. A little bit of a leaner off the glass there. Harness near side, back to Yarber, top of the key, Zimpleman far side. Cross court pass, open shot for Yarber. Can't get it to fall. Put back by Smith is no good. And that's the end of one. Comets with a three-point advantage going into the second quarter. We'll be back after these words from our sponsor here on RTC, 
TV4. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, getting ready to head into second quarter action here at Caston High School with the Lady Comets 12, Lady Hornets 9, and a fairly evenly matched first quarter, Pete. I was uh, not sure exactly what I was expecting, but, um, you know, this all keeps up. It may end up being a much narrower spread than anybody was anticipating this evening. Yeah, so far, uh, Lady Hornets really playing good. Um, so are the Lady Comets. Williamson at the volleyball line, far side to Scales. Cross court back to Williamson, head fake, top of the key to Yarber, over to Scales, far side of the court. Cross court to Yarber, top of the key to Williamson. Good ball movement here by the Lady Comets. Harness from the paint, no good, gets her own rebound, puts it back. Again, three-quarter court pressure being put on by the Lady Comets. Good situational awareness there uh, shown by Bailey Harness to not truck the uh, young man who's walking by with his slushy. Yeah, I'm wondering if that didn't stop her from diving after that. That could be. And uh, we're going to have a carry here. Called against uh, the Hornets. Scales at the volleyball line. She'll send it far side to Williamson. Hornets really extending that zone. It's something that we didn't really see from them in the first, uh, first quarter. Not extended far enough to prevent Bell Scales from draining that three-pointer. Comets now extending the pressure. And, oh, we'll have a foul called here as uh, Maddie Smith attempts the shot. Foul was on number 42, Avery Gorbett. That'll be her first, team fourth. First shot off the mark. And second shot, just a little too hard. Lady Hornets come away with that rebound. Huffman sends it to number 22, Corinne Geheb. Geheb being guarded very tightly by Bailey Harness. Shot up by Skiles off the mark. Lady Comets with that rebound. Long pass ahead to Abby Williamson. And up, can't quite get it. Harness with the put back and it drops. Lady Comets knocked the ball off of the Hornets to get the ball back. Again, taking advantage of that pressure, becoming a very decent pressure team. Harness sends it to Scales. Well, attempts to Scales. Williamson gets it. Scales at the center circle. Looking to set the play. Harness now at the volleyball line. Near side to Scales. And we're going to have a foul here on number 22, Corinne Geheb. It's going to be her first. Team fifth. It's her third. Where have I missed one? That math doesn't work. All right, Gorbett has one, Skiles has one, Bernhardt has two. For there to be three on the team, that can only be Geheb's first. That's that's how math works. Well, it hasn't changed that much since I was in school. The, the comments are the team with three, by the way. I said five. I'm not sure. I You said three. No, you said it was her third. It was her third. It says on the board it's I don't third. care what the board says. It was her first. Good steal there. I think the board's right. I don't believe it is. 
Good, move, good attempt there to steal the ball by the Hornets. Williamson to Zimpleman to Scales for three off the mark and swatted out of bounds by the Comets. Dahmerman enters the game for the Lady Comets. Good pressure being put on by the Comets. And timeout called by the Lady Hornets to uh, prevent that 10 second violation that they were running really close to. Quite amusing up here, uh, my co-commentator really trying to justify the incorrect information you see on your scoreboard at home. <laughs> no individual player is currently sitting on three fouls for either team in this game. Cor Bernhardt does have two, however. Maybe that's where they got that from, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. And she's number 20, so perhaps. Skip the line on there. Huffman near side to Skiles, and we'll have a kick called. Ball into the backcourt, across to Skiles, into the paint, back outside. Number 42, Avery Gorbett drains that bucket. Pass ahead, Comets. Zimpleman in the post, shot no good. Lady Hornets get that rebound. Down to the post, good defense there by Dahmerman. And a great rebound by the Lady Comets. Maddie Smith manages to save it, and wow. That was not necessarily pretty, but it was effective. Scales, long two, off the front of the rim. Three-pointer, nothing but net there for Torrey Skiles. Back down to a four-point game. Lady Comets still with the advantage. Dommerman around the top, cross court pass to Scott, uh, Scales. Got a Scales and a Skiles. That's gonna ruin me tonight. Yeah, when sometimes you have troubles with just normal names. I, yeah. Into Zimpleman, puts it up for three, a little too hard. And we'll have a foul called here on Kinsey Mollenkoff. Be her second, team fourth. Comets now putting full court pressure on. Ball in at number 34, Michelle Rodkey. Kicks it out to Skiles, puts it up, drains another three. Comets cannot leave her open. Down now to a one point game. Dahmerman gets shoved out of bounds. Foul is going to be called here on number 42, Avery Gorbett. That'll be her second, team sixth. Brianna Yarber back in for the Comets. She'll give Laura Dahmerman a break. Bell scales in that. That is Zimpleman. And bad pass by Zimpleman. Going to give that back to the Lady Hornets. Comets keeping a full court press on. And nice steal there. And Smith gets fouled on the shot. She'll go to the line for two more. Foul called on number 20, Cora Bernhardt. Now that is her third, T-4. 
team seventh, putting comments in the bonus. And gets the lucky bounce on that. We'll take it. P, I know what the scoreboard says. I stand by my stats. And that's something I don't think I've ever said in five years of broadcasting. Second shot off the mark. I don't actually know that if I've been broadcasting for five years. That's a long three. Drains it. Tori Skiles. Three threes in a row now, giving the Lady Hornets their first advantage of the evening. That would be something of an incredible upset, Pete. If a game that was predicted to be a 25 point win for the Lady Comets ended up a victory for the Lady Hornets. Scale sinking along two there to give the Comets their lead back. Into the paint, back outside to Huffman. Huffman looking for a pass. She'll send it down to the post. Double coverage, kicked out to number 20. She manages to keep a hold of it. Lady Comets getting a little frantic here on their defense, but it's being effective. Skiles drives in, kicks over to the far side to uh, Rodkey, Rodkey to Skiles, and that shot was off. Lady Comets now, down in their end, Zempelman from the post, shot's no good, gets her own board, and gets pushed on the putback. <coughs> Foul here on number 42, Avery Gorbett, her third, team eighth. Off the front of the rim there. Shooting woes continue here for Addie Zimpleman tonight. Minute 33 to play. Comets up by one, 21-20. Zimpleman one more from the line. Second shot a little bit too hard. Good board by Williamson who puts it in. Gets those two points her teammate missed. Comments again, full court press. Lady Hornets get across the timeline. Good ball handling there. Great defense being put on Skiles now. Lady Comments getting involved with that pass. Can't quite monopolize, or uh, monopolize, capitalize on it. That's the word. And we got a double dribble here. Great pressure being put on by the Lady Comets. Number 44, Chloe Darnell enters for the Lady Hornets. Scales across midcourt. Near side to Zimpleman. Williamson up at the volleyball line. Back to Zimpleman near side. Cross court to Williamson. Scales in the corner. Head fake, she'll drive baseline, puts it up, shot's no good, can't get the foul. Shot by Williamson, no good, but Smith gets it to fall. 20 seconds left in the half. Huffman, fast break, stops up at the volleyball line, passes off to Bernhardt. Bernhardt kicks it out and out of bounds there on number 44, Chloe Darnell. Good defense there by Isabel Scales, forcing her to go to that baseline, using that baseline as an extra defender. Six seconds left in the half. Near side to Zimpleman, two. She'll put it up. That's off the mark. And at the end of two, we're going to head into the locker room. Comets 20, 
Hornets, tw or excuse me, Comets 25, Hornets 20. We'll be back after a few words with some first half stats. You're watching Lady Comets basketball here on RTC TV4. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Starting second half action here, the Lady Hornets open with possession. Yeah, send the ball near side here to Skiles. She attempts to send it into the paint. Goes a little wild to get it back. Williamson gets involved with that pass. Jump ball, possession arrow to the Lady Comets. <clears throat> Again, forcing those turnovers is really what's kept the Lady Comets in this game with, honestly, in a pretty abysmal shooting percentage right now. Williamson, close side to Yarber. Yarber sends it to Scales. Scales at the top of the key. Pretty tight zone being played here by the Hornets. They are they do have uh, Geheb running out for it. We've got a foul called here. Foul being called on number 12, Bailey Harness. Her first, team first of the half. And the Lady Comets are going to just open it up with near full court pressure being played. Huffman across the timeline. And pass goes wild. Bell Scales bringing it across mid court. Near side to Brianna Yarber. Yarber to Williamson at the volleyball line. Back to Yarber down here on the near side. Sends it to the post and the pass gets picked. Huffman versus Smith. Into the paint. Geheb, far side, sends it down to the post and we'll have a foul called here on Maddie Smith. Her first, team second. Quick two fouls for the Comets in this half with only a minute 30 gone. Scales gets that inbound. Down to Harness at the post and she'll put it in for two. Smith tight against Huffman there. Pass intercepted by Harness. And she'll go coast to coast with it. Puts two more on the board. Lady Hornets coach called a timeout here. Looks like it will be a full timeout. Well, we'll give them a break as we take one, too. Stay tuned after this word from our sponsors here on RTC and TV. Welcome Four. back, ladies and gentlemen. Two minutes gone here in the second half. Uh, Lady Comets with a couple of buckets. No answer by the Lady Hornets yet. Uh, that said, Lady Comets are still squeaking by on the forced turnovers right now. Uh, see how... See how team strategies change up here after that timeout. Looks like the Lady Comets are going to continue with the three quarter court pressure. Geheb to uh, Bernhardt and shot by Gorbit on the mark. Uh, scales to Harness, to Williamson, top of the key three, off the mark, Harness, she gets hit on that rebound. That was an intense look of pain. And she's up under her own power. <coughs> Ball into Rodkey. She'll pass it over here to Geheb. 
to Hebb across the timeline. Trapped on the sideline. Looks like they're going to call a foul here on Scales. Her first, team third here in the half. Comet's playing a little bit more aggressive defense. And Michelle Rodkey for two from the post. Williamson, Scales. Scales to Smith. She'll go to the post. Shot is off the mark. Hornets will get that rebound. Rodkey at the center circle. Out to Bernhardt. Bernhardt to Geheb, back to Bernhardt. Top of the key. Over to Skiles. Skiles floats that pass to the post. Rodkey in a little bit of trouble. She'll send it to Skiles who tries for a three. Lady Comets get that rebound. Pass ahead to Molenkoff. She'll go baseline, put it in for two. Geheb trying to work the ball across the timeline. Passes it to Rodkey. Good ball movement there by the Hornets. Shot by Skiles off the mark. Gorbett now sinking another one. Hornets, good ball movement, getting open looks. Back down to a five point game. Still Comets advantage. Couple of soft passes down there, Pete. Um, three point look for Scales though. She'll put them on the board. And Coach Douglas will call a timeout. And he's calling for a full. We'll be back after these words from our sponsors here on RTC TV4. And welcome back, Comets fans. After that timeout, we still have 337 to play here in the third. Comets with a seven point advantage. Honestly, the shooting stats are looking a little healthier for the Comets here in the second half. They definitely need that if they want to continue to oh, absolutely. lead this I ball mean, game. Once again, we, we saw the Lady Hornets not just close the gap in the first half, but take the lead for a short while. Um, Comets dropping the pressure back. Dommerman meeting Huffman at the timeline. Geheb goes baseline, and she's gonna push. That'll be her second foul. Let's see if they've got those fixed. Team first in the half. No, they're calling her for four fouls. I don't know, and, and the coach isn't contesting that, but Pete, I know that Gebhardt that changes the ball game. Uh, I'm standing by. I'm standing by my stats. Harness for two. I guess it doesn't matter if I stand by my stats or not. If they tag her for five, she's out. Yeah. Great pressure being put on by the comments there. It's forcing another turnover. Pass to Domberman, far side, she'll go to Smith, top of the key. Back to Domberman, long two, off the mark. Domberman's first shot of the game there, Pete. And we're gonna wrap this up, jump ball. Lady Hornets will keep that one. <clears throat> Number 21, Brianna Yarber enters the game for the Lady Comets.
Huffman at the volleyball line. Dommerman tight to her. Send it down here to Rodkey. Rodkey back top of the key to Bernhardt. Shot by number 42, Gorbit off the mark. Lady Comets with that rebound. Long pass ahead to Molenkoff who gets two. Good backdoor cut there, just couldn't quite get the uh, basket there to fall. Molenkoff for two, off the mark. We had a putback attempt there by Harness, draws the foul. They're gonna call that on Bernhardt. Now see, that should be her fourth and they're calling it her second. Harness for two. That one just rattles in and out. Okay, I'm changing my sheet to reflect what will happen <laughs> on Geheb's next foul, but I'm near. Uh, I'm confident that if we go back and rewatch this broadcast, Pete, that I was correct. And neither of them fall there for Bailey. A little bit of stop and go there for Rodkey. Passes it to Huffman. Dommerman. Oh, that was clean. They're going to call a foul on her. Looked like she may have gotten a little arm there. Yeah, it looks so well. Either that or he was calling the forearm lean. Not, not the actual ball swap, but the forearm lean because he did call it a push. Deep inbound. Smith gets involved, knocks it loose. Manages to get a hold of it over here to Williamson. Dommerman near side, Williamson towards the corner. She'll go around the top of the arc. Dribbles in. Good ball movement here by the Lady Comets. Cross court to Yarber, she'll go baseline. Can't get that to fall. Huffman up to Gorbit, top of the key, off the mark. And Dommerman picks up her second foul here. She'll send Huffman to the line for the Hornets' first free throws of the night. Just a little to the right on that one. Number 44, Chloe Darnell enters for the Lady Hornets. And cannot get that shooter's roll. And double dribble there on Molenkoff. Forty-two seconds remain here in the third quarter. Ball over to uh, Cornell. Gonna call a travel on number 42, Avery Gorbit. Dommerman into Yarber. Yarber near side to Williamson, 18 seconds left. Attempt to put it into the paint. And uh, Maddie Smith couldn't quite keep a hold of that. Swatted out by the Hornets. Number 20, Cora Bernhardt back in. Up to Williamson, 
cross court to Yarbers. She'll put it up for three off the mark. Domerman gets it over to Williamson. Five seconds left. She'll go for a three. It's also off the mark. And that will end the third. At the end of three, Comets 37, Hornets 26. We'll be back after this word from our sponsors here on RTC TV. Welcome four. back, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting ready to start fourth quarter action here on RTC TV 4. Coming to you live from Caston High School. Unless, of course, you're watching the replay, and then we were coming to you live. Eight minutes of regulation remain. Lady Comets with an 11-point advantage. And uh, the ladies, they cleaned up the shot percentage a bit there in the third. <clears throat> Still probably not exactly what uh, Coach Douglas was looking for, though. Uh, once again, though, definitely forced a lot of turnovers, and that has certainly kept them in the ballgame here tonight. Lady Hornets really extending that zone. Cora Bernhardt nearly getting hold of that pass. Ends up out of bounds. Coach Douglas, after 17 seconds, said, ah, let's, let's, talk, uh, let's talk strategy a little bit more. 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here. And uh, not sure exactly what aspect of the strategy he was wanting to change there. Uh, again, Lady Comets have been very aggressive with their defense the whole game, uh, but really, uh, really has stepped up the uh, physicality of it here in the second half. And they stacked up quite a few fouls there in the third quarter. Fourth quarter, though, does typically start getting very frantic, and uh, fouls can mount in a hurry. Scales, deep inbound to Yarber. She'll send it to the post to Harness. Harness manages to get rid of that. I thought she was going to go up and down with it. She got trapped and manages to do a baseline pass. That was pretty incredible. Comments moving the ball around, looking for that open shot. There it is. A little too hard, though. And they're going to tie up. Call that a jump ball. The Hornets fans over here yelling a little bit about that, but the Hornets did keep it on the arrow, so. We'll come near side. Open look for Skiles. That was, that's a dangerous thing for the Lady Comets. Uh, Skiles stacked up 12 points there in the first half. Harness, she'll put two on the board. No full court pressure by the Comets. Skiles, she'll dribble inside, passes it down to the post. Shot by 42, Gorbett off the mark, and the Lady Comets get that rebound. Yarber loses control as she tries to go vertical with it. Coach Chad Gehead telling his ladies to slow down. And they'll send a pass sailing out of bounds. Lady Comets get possession. Scales across the timeline. She'll wait at the volleyball line. Williamson back to Scales here on the near side. Lady Comets just moving the ball around the outside, looking for that open play. Skip pass, Scales for three, and it's good. Open play. Contested three and drain it. Whatever. It's all the same thing. Oh, yeah. Potato, potato. 
Smith picking the pocket there of Corin Gaheb, but losing control of it, sending it out of bounds. Geheb to go inside the arc, back outside. Passes it to Bernhardt. Williamson overrunning that play a little bit and allowing. Harness Ooh. picking up a second foul. Got Avery Gorbett at the line for two. First shot off the front of the rim. And next foul for the Comets will, of course, put the Hornets into the bonus. Second shot also rolls bad. Abby Williams and Kinsey Molenkoff both getting the rebound there and coming down with it, getting called for a travel. Michelle Rodkey back in for the Hornets. Ball into Gorbett. Up to Skiles. And Maddie Smith once again with a steal on a pass. And foul here on number 20, Cora Bernhardt. It'll be her third. Uh, officially, unofficially, she just fouled out. I'm, I'm sticking by it, Pete. Well, the official score there hasn't said anything, so. Williamson, top of the key, near side scales for a long two. Can't get it to drop, but Williamson does get that rebound. And we'll have a push called on Courtney Huffman. That's her first foul of the game. Team fourth here in the half. Hornets very quickly working themselves towards putting the comments in the bonus. Three point attempt by uh, Harness is off the mark. Williamson does come down with that. Long two for Scales won't drop. And the Hornets get that rebound. That was a travel. Travel there by Cora Bernhardt. She didn't quite have control of the ball before she started forward. Scales over to Harness on the far side. Top of the key, Williamson. She'll go in the paint, goes vertical with it. And they're going to call her for. Called Kinsey Molenkoff for an illegal screen. That'll be her third foul. Team seventh will uh, forfeit those two points. Huffman to Skiles. Skiles face guarded there by Harness. Sends it up to Gorbett. Top of the key. Gorbett passes to Huffman, pass no good. Looks like they'll get Huffman there for a foul. Yep, she'll be picking up her second there. Team fifth here in the half. Harness up at the volleyball line. Scales go for three, off the mark. And Kenzie Molenkoff will pick up her fourth foul. And with the Hornets in the bonus, we'll send a shooter to the line for one and one.
Rodkey at the line, one and one. Gets that shooter's roll and a second chance. Second one, nothing but net. First two free throws sunk by the Hornets here tonight. Only the fifth and sixth that they've had attempted. Ball into scales. She'll come across the timeline, near side to Williamson. Up to the volleyball line to Harness, 3.30 to play. Ball down to the post to Smith. Shots off the mark. Far side to Skiles. Pass to the post, picked off. Say that three times fast. Harness, far side. Cross court pass here to Williamson on the near side. Lady Comets moving the ball around. I'm going to send it down to the post. And we'll have Avery Gorbett, I believe, pick up a foul. That'll be her fourth. Next Hornets foul will send the Comets into the bonus. That'll be it. That'll be Gebhardt's fourth. Three Hornets now with four fouls. Kinsey Molenkoff also with four fouls for the Comets. Smith can't quite sink that. Shot attempt by Corinne Geheb off the mark. Williamson, wild shot off the mark. Giles over to Gorbit. Bernhardt takes the ball out of bounds for the Hornets. Comes near side to Scales. Scales to Huffman. Huffman to Bernhardt. Bernhardt for three. Off the mark. Scales into the arc. She'll go up with it. Puts it in for two. Amazing ball handling and skill there by Scales to score that one. Absolutely. Well, they're going to take a full timeout. We'll be back after this word from our sponsors. You're watching Lady Comets Basketball here on RTC TV. Hornets 28, both teams in the bonus. Uh, Kenzie Molenkoff with four fouls for the Comets. Uh, and the Lady Hornets have number 42, Avery Gorbett, number 22, Corinne Geheb, and number 20, Cora Bernhardt, each with four fouls. Those, are some, those have been some key players for the Hornets here tonight. Um, so could really change their options. Again, only two minutes left to play, but still could change the last two minutes of basketball if any of those three foul out. Speaking of Geheb, she goes into the paint, sends it over here to Bernhardt. Skiles. To Gorbit. <coughs> Huffman into the paint, gets caught, sends it out to Skiles. Up to Bernhardt, into the paint to Geheb. And Geheb will get a foul off of Isabel Scales. It'll be Scales second, team nine. Geheb at the line for one and one.
I was willing to call that long. That was uh, that was not a conventional shot arc. A lot of power to it. Not a lot of arc. Second shot had more traditional arc. Also goes in. Got Sydney McCullough coming in. We'll give uh, Cora Bernhardt a break. Lady Comet still with a 14 point advantage. Bell scales. Sends the ball far side to uh, Harness. Sorry. <laughs> Abby Williamson at the volleyball line now. Near side to Maddie Smith. Smith on the on the count with the face guard. Back out to Williamson. Williamson with a couple pass fakes. Sends it to Bell Scales. Scales will back up with it. Honestly, right now, Pete, the way that the shots haven't been dropping tonight, I think that a solid pass around game right now is the best bet for the Comets. The Hornets recognize the same strategy. They are definitely coming out. Smith puts it in for two. Good look there by Smith. Drives straight in and just <coughs> lays it up nice and easy. Ball comes near side to Cornell. Top of the key to Darno. Braylon Good. Good to Gebhardt. No good on that shot. 13 seconds now. Smith to Scales. Scales will hold it until the defense comes out. Continue Three, to hold it. two, one, and there's your ball game, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of four. Caston 46, Rossville 30. We're going to step away for a couple words from our sponsors. We'll be back with post game wrap up, an interview with Coach Josh Douglas. This has been Lady Comets Basketball here on RTC TV 4.